Hey guys, my name is Jeremiah, and today we are going to be making this map. So at the start here, you see me tracing over a pre-given coastline, which I got from the contest that I am making this map for. I'll tell you more about that contest at the end of the video, but once I get done with that, I will start just sketching in the shelves of the coastline because in this world there are no oceans anymore. Since the world was devoid of any form of moisture, I wanted to add in forests, but they obviously had to be somewhat dead in appearance. So what I did, I don't know if I fully pulled it off, but I just made the forest like I usually would, and then I added some trees on the outside with like some logs that are bent over from their lack of moisture and Hopefully, I, I'm pretty, I'm happy with how it turned out. I think I pulled off the effect. We go into Photoshop and we start with the scanned image of our map. Uh, we then download a ancient map, or an ancient paper texture from Google, which I found. And you then take the image of your map and put it over it and set it to multiply. Here's it in normal and here it is in multiply. And it already looks really good here, but I wanted to make it so that the uh the height was more apparent because the this is like just the land that people normally walk on where the old cities were. And then these are the shelves that were used to be underwater, and then this is the, this is the ocean floor, and then this is a deep trench. So I kind of wanted to make that that level variation a little more apparent. So I took a separate layer that also had multiply with less opacity, and I just got my paintbrush and as well as the bucket tool, and I filled in all of these layers with different shades of color. Um, this is the final product that I sent into the contest, and as you can see, I colored in the scroll for Basal, and I gave the forests a brown tinge because they're all dead, obviously, and I colored in the shell of Tanel Talith and gave it a little green hue, and all of the tents I gave, uh, I made them blue just so that there's a little more color than just brown and tan, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I should have colored in the, um, the farmlands here a little, uh, some, but I didn't end up doing that, which I really think I should have. Also, you can see that I removed the, uh, shading most, I removed most of the shading that I went a little overboard with and it looks pretty good. And I, added in digital shading into the mountain sides and the side of the trench, etc., 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 yeah. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this map. Uh, it's a little busy for me, but I think it turned out pretty good. I My favorite part about it is the uh, dragon turtle, which is like has been turned into a city after all the oceans have been drained. Uh, in the lore of the world, the oceans, like I said, have been drained, and they are the remaining inhabitants of the world are currently trying to dig a well into one of the trenches that has been uncovered, hope, hoping for, hoping to find groundwater, which they may or may not find. Um, this map was made for a contest by WASD20. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and maybe somewhere up on the screen for you to look at. Uh, he is an extremely good resource for map making tutorials, which I've learned a lot from him. Uh, he also learned a lot from Fantastic Maps, which I'll also provide a link for. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like in the, and comment in the comment section below. And have a good day.